Ever wonder what happens to old used tires? Believe it or not, we now use them to manufacture rubber mats that can cover an entire arena. Now that's great recycling. Used tires are a real source of pollution. This pile represents about 100,000 of them. At any rate, these tires will have a second life. They'll be recycled to make rubber mats. Each day in this factory, they recycle 15,000 tires into mats. Tires have to be reduced to little granules, but first, this conveyor feeds the tires into the washer. Tires are washed with a water-based biodegradable preparation, then they're sent to the shredder. The shredder has two rows of large teeth. These grind up the tires into pieces. This shredder is able to cut up almost 1,000 tires an hour. They come out as fairly good sized pieces of tires, which are then shredded a second time. Metal is magnetically separated from the rubber and the metal pieces are recycled at another factory. Other components of the tires, such as fiberglass and nylon, also have to be separated. They use a sifter to get out unwanted rubbish. Recuperated rubber particles purged of foreign materials measure about 2.5 millimeters. Some 16 tons of tire particles are piled up in this recycling depot. But the particles are still too large to be used. They're sent to a secondary shredder's supply tank where they'll be reduced even further. This tractor feeds the secondary shredder. Grinding action produces a kind of rubber powder. The powder is spread out on these enormous molds. This mold has a length of 7 meters and a width of 1.2 meters. Thickness varies according to the product being made. The molds filled with rubber powder are stored in this loading magazine of the press. Once full, the molds are sent to the rubber mat press. Here's the mat press. The powder has to be cooked at a very high temperature for about 30 minutes. Cooking time depends on the product being made. The cooked mat goes through the unmolding unit before being sent off to cool. The rubber mats are still extremely hot. They're cooled with jets of water for a period of several minutes. The cooled mats can now be sent to the next apartment. This conveyor in the cutting center positions the mat before it's cut. The mat is vibrated to eliminate any surplus water. Each rubber mat is now cut up into three pieces. The cut mats are then stacked into a pile and stored before being shipped. The company also makes mud guards. These are fabricated the same way as the preceding mats. After having been cooled in water, but while they're still warm, they remove the surplus rubber. This operation is called notching. Hard rubber rings are also produced at this facility with the same fabrication methods and, as always, from old used tires. Over a 12-hour period, this facility makes no less than 12,000 rubber mats from old recycled tires. This translates into good news for our 